services they offer are vital to our survival. It's all yours. I forgot to <laughs> hit start. If screamer sees me, it's going to call its friends. Uh. Okay. I, or, oh my god, why is there another one? <laughs> yeah, that's true. You just killed that screamer. Uh, it's the third one. I have a message to get across, and I want it fucking heard. Well, I will silence them. Just like Let's the FBI. <laughs> you know, I want one character to have a knockdown weapon. It has dismembering chance along with lethality. Uh, yeah, I'll lose some. I'm okay with you losing some ease of use and max durability for increased lethality and some dismemberment potential. Yeah. I'm gonna take the fucking painkiller and medkit off of this character, though. And give them bandages instead. Med kits are nice to keep at base to remove trauma. Sounds like what I would expect. Oh, I'm gonna go and throw these, uh... Ah, that was fucking loud. Yes. Oh, there's a first aid kit in this truck. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I put it in there. Yeah. I'm gonna grab the other. There was one more gas can and one more tool kit. Both of these are. They don't. Need repairs, do they? Uh, this one does, but not. It's not a dangerously low level, so it's kind of a waste right now. Okay. This one is still definitely completely fine. Oh damn! It was low on gas. Jesus. Yeah. How do how do we tell it's like durability? Uh, appearance. Okay, so you just eyeball it. Once well, since this one's uh, completely broken and it's all dented, it'll be worrisome and we'll probably need to repair it. Okay. It'll also tell you that the car is damaged. It's repaired usually if you get in it. Okay, find resources on other people. Find other survivors. Oh. Use your radio menu to reach out by survivors. So we can use our resources then for this? That's this is your neat. new neighbor saying hello. We'd like to meet up and see how we can help each other survive. It's a relief to hear another voice. We're in a bit of a bind and could use some help. Can you come by? Are they just named the neighbors? I know they're strangers, but I think we should offer our help. <laughs> Travel to the home of the neighbors. It is, in fact, the neighbors. Okay. Now the question is, wow, that's an interesting looking fucking baton. Kind of weird. Oh, they're in the middle of plague territory. Or, they're on the edge of plague territory. Oh. God, it would be nice to have one plague heart. What? This 22 pistol that she's using looks... Really fucking familiar. It looks a lot like a well rod. I think well rods are their names. The fucking... Oh, yeah. Doesn't it look like a fucking well rod? That's weird. Okay. Well, since it wanted me to start this mission out as the doctor, I'm gonna go out as the doctor. Yeah, if you swap, it'll cancel the mission. Oh, okay. Me to drive? Yeah, I'll do some riding. Oh! Mm -hmm. 
Holy shit, this thing's got a lot of seats. Yeah. By the look and smell of the oh wait, no, it's only got four. I'd say a plague heart is close by. Probably plague zards too. I meant to do that. If we can't ever trust anyone, all of this is pointless. Oh, they're getting attacked. Someone needs help. Oh, good lord. Oh. I tried to. Ow. Bitch. Get it up. Ow! Oh, <laughs> they're still not dead. Damn. Yeah. There's more inside, it sounds like. Yep. Seriously, I really appreciate that. We're seeing a lot more plague zets lately. More you didn't plague. get uh infected, did you? Oh no, I, I have a fever, but I can easily get rid of that. Okay. I did recently destroy a plague heart, so I have Sorry, so many fucking plague samples. Our food supply is spoiled. Do you have any extra? We're really living in plague territory, that. of course it is. Move! That's it. <laughs> Just jump through a window. <laughs> oh, they probably don't like us very much. Food supply is running out. I couldn't care. Unfortunately, we're not in much better shape ourselves. I think we need to find a place to scavenge for more. This seems like a good enough spot as any. Yeah. Go, go, go! Ooh. There's bound to be gas in here. Oh, no. I, I, I searched a gas can and found spare parts. Yeah, that happens. Ooh, cases oh, of chemicals. I found a hat. Ah. Oh. Why did it take me so long to search that then if there wasn't anything in it? <laughs> this might be valuable. Oh, landscaping supplies. Nice. I'm gonna go throw that in the car. Oh, gardening textbook. Oh. And in 1911. That'll go right in here, so you can take that. I don't see any Zeds, but that won't last. There's a 1911 and ammo in okay. the trunk. You know, I thought Outpost would be uh, very limited. Like, there wouldn't be a whole lot of them. <laughs> Seems like every place we go to that has loot. Portable generator. Hell yeah, that's a nice thing to get. And I found a G34 FDE. Oh. Whoops. Along with some 9mm rounds and boxes of seeds. Why is it suddenly so eerie? Good question. Oh. A shark oh. hoodie. Yeah. Case of chemicals again. I hope this is enough to keep our neighbors fed for a bit. I found a bag of foods. Nice. Oh, there's a large backpack in here. If you want. <gasps> Ooh, yeah, I'm fucking taking that. <laughs> if only I had room for it. Found some bandages. Here. Oh, a knit cap. Oh, you got one too. <laughs> Can you search that? Uh, no, I cannot. Ah, oh, fuck. I think our loot is exclusive unless we give it to one another. Bam, bam. Uh. I got a big old thing of meds, so that's nice. 
Nice. Oh, and some toilet paper if you see. want to trade that. Oh! Yeah, case of toilet paper. Oh, it auto-equipped the, uh, red backpack. I don't even notice. Let's see what's in here. That was an extra bandage. Sight not secured. Nothing and in here. It will be. <laughs> Until we kill that fucking plague heart, anyway. I don't need a backpack that. that is small, so. You don't have any use for a small backpack, do you? No. Okay. Oh, it's... It's taken over a safe house. Oh. I'm gonna throw some stuff in the back of the car. Uh, there's no space in the back of the car, I don't think. Oh, indeed there isn't. I was thinking that there would be something that would coincide with one another. Sadly not. I'm gonna go check what the fuck it was I left inside, because I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Boxes of seeds. Two, specifically. Wait a minute. You know what? I don't need a bandage. I think, like, food supplies are more important than a single bandage. Is your health at full? No, but I have bandages on me. <laughs> As I say, there's a bandage right on the stairs. If you want to be topped off. I did that earlier. <laughs> We're gonna pipe a cut. <laughs> Lazy bastards. Couldn't go search the house next to him. <laughs> hey, hi. We, <laughs> we've walked 10 feet. <laughs> Here's food. It's off. Of course. Here's the case of toilet paper. If you want to trade it. But what we've done so far is you can trade it for a good amount of renown. Oh. Or whatever that stuff's influence. Yeah, that's what it's called. <laughs> I don't have inventory for it. Yeah, I'm not surprised by that. I'll take the rucksack out of the car. I can't carry that much. And then put something else in. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll put the portable generator in. That sounds like a smart thing to not carry in my pocket. A bit heavy? Yeah. How's it going? I've got stuff you like. Why not? Okay, so I can trade with the enclave. Good, get you, you know, buddy, buddy again. Yeah. I just gave the Enclave that toilet paper and got 75 for it. Damn. Ironically enough, that's how much bandages cost. <laughs> hmm. Salvage is the same. I think I'm gonna give them this fucking pistol. Yep, there we go. I'll keep the ammo for it though. Jesus. A case of toilet paper would cost 300. Maybe they didn't really need toilet paper at that moment. In their, you know, inflation. <laughs> ah, heart of sickness mission. 
What the fuck did we hit that caused us to do that? <laughs> I, I don't know. Is there a speed bump I wasn't aware of? Bonk. So be very careful in that area, okay? She's right about that plague heart being dangerous. And if we're gonna face it, we need to I can go kill it right now as we speak. <laughs> I agree that allies are good. They might have stuff to trade that we could use in a fight. Oh, God damn it! I did it again. I put the gas back in the fucking vehicle. Or back in the... You know what I mean. Rather than yeah. relying on people we barely know. Sometimes relying on people you barely know is, you know, better than doing it on your own. And there goes my fever. It's only a matter of time nice. before one of us catches blood plague. I've only studied it in a lab, but I get how dangerous it is. So I can supply a single facility with that portable generator. That's pretty heavy. Yep. The littlest bit of power is nice to have. Oh, you can install the soil enrichment thing. Wait, no, wait, what? Okay, it's because it's... I see what happened there. It's got to be put away in the supply thing. For me to be able to use it. Oh. Do we really need power here, though? That's my question. Uh, no, not really. But I do believe it gives morale boost. Ah. People like having power. Requires one daily materials upkeep once upgraded. I didn't realize I could upgrade things. Remove injuries and craft painkillers. Also provide an additional treatment bed. Increases the benefit of surgery and pathology skills on recovery actions. I'd say don't go and upgrade anything just yet, because there is another area I wanted to take you to. Okay. That makes sense. Though, I don't know if you can afford the thing to buy it, because it's 1,000. Uh, oh. Influence, whatever the fuck that shit's called. Come with me. Uh, oops, I meant to switch to this character. Uh, but it's, it's a massive area. It's got a lot of shit. You like making yourself useful? You got points. It also apparently has a Cleo drop or a oh. failed Cleo drop or whatever. Oh, wait a minute. He needs the nine mil rounds, I think. Yes, he does. Wait a minute. He's got a sniper on his back, but the sniper's no longer in his inventory. Oh, you almost have enough for it. If I'm not mistaken, because that's definitely not showing my uh, supply of that. The star one? Yeah. Yeah, 968. So it does show me yours when I look at it. You almost have uh, more then. Should I go and uh, trade in some luxury items with those guys we just found? Uh, you're more than welcome to, or we can go uh, blow shit up. Ah, yeah, let's go do that. That sounds more fun. Yeah, we should be pretty good if we go blow up that uh, plague heart. Okay. Actually, speaking of, I'm gonna just waste some resources. There we go. That's not the spot I was supposed to be. Oh, that's better. Oh, I should probably... Let me go grab the, uh... Things I took out of the car by accident. Okay, grab a gas can and two toolkits. There we go. Okay, we're doing pretty good on gas. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, wait a minute. Invite Nia to fight the Plague Heart alongside you. Trade with Brian to get some explosives. Craft your own explosive in the... I should probably go and do some of that. I don't know if you get anything for doing it. You know, I could just turn around, right? Uh, yes. <laughs> oh. Get off my guard. <laughs> that was loud. Hey, how's life treating you? Wait, no, you're not near explosives because I already have some. Oh, oh, that was... Okay, those people were the fucking ones that we had talked to a second ago. Ah. Oh. That's really cheap for a soda can bomb. Mm-hmm. Okay. Consumable thrown weapons. Okay, I see how that works. So the person who is not you I'm trying to close the door. Fuck it. Okay, so we gotta go and stop by those uh, people we saw earlier to invite Maybe. them. Yeah. Gotta invite. <laughs> Can you see the uh, marker form? Uh, no, I can't. Oh, um, they are. Somewhere. <laughs> let's let's see. Um Heart of Sickness, there we go. Oh, yeah, you did it. In fact, I, I unpinned it while trying to show you where it was. <laughs> oh. Okay, so there's pinning and then there's waypoints. Oh dear god. Okay, we can invite her and trade for explosives over there. Hey neighbor, I just finished making a batch of explosives. Plenty of bang for the buck. Box mines? Pipe bombs and frag grenades. Yeah, none of them are any better than the soda can bomb. Well, the frag grenade is. Hey people, our neighbor had some extra explosives to share. I bought a single can. I was hoping you'd ask. Thanks. Awesome. Nice to have someone who will watch my back. Now you have a third party member. Indeed. That makes and a full car. Yep. <laughs> we got a car full of motorcycles. Oh, there was a sample bit back there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Aerodynamic. Close. You can tell by the red haze. Planes, of course. <laughs> ah, yes. Aerodynamic. It helps you with turning quicker. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, this place is just. Horrible. Jesus. Well, the the uh, the window's open. Where is the plague heart? Found it! Uh, should I throw a bomb at it? Yes! As many as you'd like, actually. Fire in the hole! And we're down to the last one. Oh, it's still going. Still kicking? Wow. No longer kicking. Nice. Did I just say niece? I think so. Can you help me? I don't think I can get home on my own. Yeah, we can help you. That's good to hear. 
Ooh, hey, gas can. Hey, I found a tampon. Oh, uh. It's a luxury item. Oh. Well, the person you can sell it to is right next to you. <laughs> I can't. Only you can. I can't interact with them. Oh. Well, I can't interact with them, but I can't sell or recruit anybody. Maybe we can trade this to someone. Oh, yeah. Uh, the Plague Heart. Is, it's dead. You can loot it, and it's got some good shit on it. Or it should. Nice. Jugs of ethanol. <laughs> ah, yes. Straight alcohol. Oh, shit. Bag of EMT supplies, frag grenades, Hunter's Model 29, a police knife, police nightstick, hmm. eight plague samples, a hiking pack. Oh, it has the same amount of supplies. That's disappointing. Wait, it has the same storage, but weighs less. And gives more salvage. Okay. For that to go. Let's see. Oh, I can open it. Uh, not Nia. Talk to Harris. Switch to this cow. Okay, that was disorientating. Like my camera just what fucking moved nine million miles. Stuff in the car. Okay. Oh, the heart has disintegrated. Yeah. A fucking Molotov. <laughs> what is this little bag? Search complete. How in the fuck did they fit a backpack, a can of beer? And a collection of random parts in a bag that little. What's practice? What's Let's see. Okay, he's got inventory for that. If I equip this, I can make more inventory space. Okay, so the alcohol is a luxury item. An ultra light backpack would be interesting for the right person. Wait a minute. He should. Yeah. Okay. So if I take this, I have all I can carry. Let's drop that for now. Take this, equipped it, gives me two more inventory slots. Then I can take the Molotov. What's happening? Make him drop that backpack out right. I punted a garden gnome. What's happening? <laughs> What's happening? Get out of my way, fucker. There we go. I wanted to bring the ultralight backpack because it sounded interesting. Can't believe I actually managed to fucking take everything out of there. <laughs> How many fucking plague samples do I have now? I got ten in my pockets. Nice. Come on, lady. There's a sign, or a uh, piece of that stuck in us for some reason. Oh. That was a lot of zombies.
And recording has started. Dark now to probably cover up the, or bring up the fact that the fucking recording cut off because I ran out yeah. of storage space. That was fun. Nothing was, was missed nice. out on, especially considering the uh, the mission has uh, rolled back to what happened. Uh, we recruited the fuckers that were over at the other camp. I don't yeah, even remember the their names. Yeah, the neighbors. Yeah, we recruited those fuckers. And then came back. Mm -hmm. uh, violence is our last resort. I'm just gonna say that the same as anyway. Uh, brought one of them here and the other teleported after. Society can't return to normal unless we help each other. I'm surprised neither of them bitched this time. Yeah. Many. Okay, um... Oh, homie was stuck on the ladder again. Just gonna drink a cup of coffee. Fair enough. <laughs> Okay. I don't... Yeah, I've got fucking 41 arrows. I don't really need a uh, thing. Oh, right. Um, oh, do you want to move to a slightly better location? I do like the sound of moving to a better location. Hello, my friend. Hey, you wanna lend me it has three spots that you can uh, build in. Ooh. I think they're all small, but... I don't think you can use big plots in this map yet. I'm getting really good at that. <laughs> oh, I missed. Indeed you did. Aerodynamic. Wee. Hey, look, Pennywise. <laughs> oh, lag. No, oh, dear lord. I've driven through this area so many times I know it like the back of my hand. I know it better than my own hometown. Feral. Oh, dear lord. That damn Wendigo. Stay the fuck over there, cryptid. Horrifying that they're as fast as a car. <laughs> Wonder if we could make a comfortable base there. Oh. Stop here with plenty of space. Uh oh. Uh, how do I? <laughs> I forgot how to get out of a vehicle. This is a, a lot mm -hmm. bigger of an area. It looks a lot nicer. You can clear this out. It's a Clearo, Clio drop. Ooh. It doesn't have anything, I think. I think you can get scrap circuitry and stuff, which is actually pretty good. <laughs> but it'll give you two outdoor plots, and I think you can have one indoor plot. It's a little pricey, but worth it. <laughs> oh, that looked like it didn't feel good. I didn't take any damage. Oh, well, that's good. I don't know why I expected there to be something here. Yeah, all the freaks were outside for once. 
Ah, see. Inside. Jesus, man. There's a door a foot away. 14 total slots. Slots in current base, 8. Two large built-in facilities. Let's see. Failed Cleo drop clearable. Getting removed with programming knowledge or by seven survivors. Mailed rewards when removed. Biker kitchen affects morale and stamina. Manages rationing. Crafts fatigue removing consumables. Can produce food, ethanol, and moonshine. A fuel tank Once watchtower. Again. Supports two armed guards for... Base defense and increases the safe zone near our base. For this to function, we must have at least one survivor equipped with a firearm or two armed survivors for full effect. Can be reconnected to the underground reservoir to gain fuel and fuel storage. Nice. Provides one bed, can be dismantled for materials. With the appropriate items, upgrade park cars. So we can also quickly grab vehicle supplies from our stockpiles here and salvage beast auto works crafts car upgrades teaches or improves the mechanic skill crafts toolkits to repair vehicles that's fucking cool it's really useful you can get armored cars oh that's sweet yeah we're moving over here dismantles facilities and refunds resources construction is faster after moving Nice. Yep, everyone's happy that you moved to somewhere nice. Oh. Neato. And they brought the car. <laughs> how nice of them. That's probably how they got here. Mm hmm Okay. I'm just parking. They're shooting at it. Uh, any zombie in the safe zone radius will be shot at. And okay. we got hella radius. It's a big ass area. Uh, the doctor's using the crossbow. Mm. That's a good use of a crossbow. Yeah. I'm gonna go and see if these arrows that they're firing are retrievable. I've never once thought to do that. Oh, good lord, an arrow whizzed past my head. I think an arrow went in my ass. <laughs> Doesn't look like they're retrievable. Motherfucker, nothing to retrieve here except a giant rucksack full of goddamn gas. Ooh. Oh, that sucks. My fan club. There's another one. <laughs> it's actually kind of nice that we've got, uh... Cover wall. Looting this shit. Yeah, we don't have to worry about being loud because it'll die before it gets to us. And the next area we should try to get is the one that gives power. Ah. This will come in handy. Or at least it's what I'd go for, but having power at your base is pretty fucking nice. Oh shit. I made noise. <laughs> I think everything for a mile radius is probably dead. I got an achievement for making noise. Awesome. Oh, damn. Another fucking backpack. I'm ready to specialize one of my skills. Is it wits? Yep. Yeah. You can get stealth and it's honestly pretty nice. Improved by searching containers and stealth damn... killing zombies. There are two flashbangs in the trunk of this random car I just found. Huh. Quicker sneaking, quicker or quieter interactions and reduced visibility to enemies. Or increased carrying capacity, especially for consumables and crossbow bolt recovery. Hmm. I went with stealth. Yeah. Um mostly because crouch and sprint is so nice. Hmm, yeah. The loot goblin in me really wants resourcefulness, so I'm just gonna grab that. Go for it. 35% search speed, one inventory slot, one item stack size, or plus one item stack size, and increased crossbow bolt recovery. 
Improved by searching containers and stealth killing. So it still gets affected all the same. Okay, I found a sack of cooking oil. Wait a minute, don't I have a rucksack on my back? What the fuck? Oh, I do. It was his inventory that didn't have a rucksack. Shut up, bitch. <laughs> what in the those fuck? trees over there fucking point of interest. Whee. Ow, my leg. I sprained my ankle. The fuck was that? A bird. I didn't hear a bird. I heard fucking screeching metal. <laughs> oh. Probably a, uh, fucking no, dear. barrel. They're really noisy. And for some reason, they often scream and sound like metal or gears. Huh. Oh, look who's not dead yet. oh, I have storage fuel. Oh, fuck. <laughs> but you know what I can do? Some more. I can just load up a gas can. Wow, it only cost one of our fuel resource to make a gas can? Yeah. Damn. Okay, I made two. <laughs> oh, fuck. Do we have a third car now? Yep. Nice. Where the fuck did you find this one? Or is uh, it this one? Right next to the gas station. It's specifically this one right here. This is the new one. Okay. How's it doing on and gas? And we have a spot for one more car. It needs gas. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and fill it up. Ooh. Survey point. We have so much goddamn gas. Should I just, like, top all the vehicles off? Um, I mean, might as well. I mean, like, I've got, like, three kiosk cans in my fucking pocket right now. Yeah. <laughs> Almost made the entire nope. area. Ooh. Uh, Those see, are see. nice. Pharmacies. Ooh. Get some meds. What is that? Opson Pharmacy, I think, has an infestation there. Oh. Okay, that's good. Got... there's people there, suddenly. Oh, okay. That's pretty heavy. Take the flashbangs out of this. And then refuel it. It's already got two things of fuel in it already. Mm-hmm. Uh, what is this one? Okay, yeah, all of those have two spare gas cans in it. <laughs> that was my goal. Let's see what I can do here. Uh, I'm gonna put the flashbangs away. Do you think they actively use, uh, crossbow ammunition? Uh, if they have it, they will, if they have at least one, they will never run out of ammo, I think. Okay. I did hear a crossbow fire, and there was five standard bolts, and there's still five. <laughs> so that's good to know. Yeah. I would love to put a suppressor on this M1903. And fucking give it to one of them. Uh, let's see. So this... Dismantling it. Got seven people. Or hack it open. I don't think... We don't have power, so there's that. Mm -hmm. What the hell am I thinking? Oh! Cool, we get fucking fuel efficiency for this place. Yeah. Well, I've got a oh, portable generator. More... Yeah. This place has more positives than it does negatives. Yeah. Vehicle upgrade kits. Improved toolkit crafting. Bulk craft toolkits. 
or a single. That was spooky. Uh, no. Boost durability and reduce noise. 30% vehicle stealth for one hour. <laughs> That's neat. Was that your character saying they've got a rest? Yeah. Okay. Trying to figure out these heavy abilities I have. Oh. My character's build makes zero sense. Oh! Yeah. So it costs one ammo of day. That's pretty fucking cheap. Do we still have those uh, previous facilities that we got? Or did we lose access to them for moving? Uh, you don't have them anymore. They get dismantled. Uh, okay. But building anything is faster. Or, uh, I meant, I meant the outpost. That's what I meant oh, to say. Oh, outpost. Yes, you still have your outpost. Okay, cool. Yep, you have your fuel outpost over there and the ammo outpost. Okay. We don't really need the fuel outpost. Since yeah, since this we have place the fuel. has the fuel. Yeah. Um, is there a way to, like, remove the fuel outpost, actually? Uh, if you go to it, you can abandon it. Okay. Let's see. So it's a wild dogs. There's a water tower nearby. Did you just jump through a window right after? Uh, oh, was that the other guy? That was the other guy. I don't know why he jumped through a window either. It's the second time he's jumped through the fucking window. All oh, right, I forgot I had another pocket now. You learned how to sew pockets onto your clothes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, I already know what that's going to develop into. Let's see. Yeah. Okay, I'm taking the revolver off this guy. And putting it away in storage. I mean, he doesn't even have ammo for it anyway. So it doesn't really matter. Yeah. It said that we could connect this. Um, ah, it was connect and pump fuel required power. Okay. Uh, does the fucking portable generator only work for one spot? I believe so. Okay. Well, I will uh, fucking mod the fucking watchtower to have a portable generator on it. And then when that's done, we can connect it and store, what, more fuel and generate fuel, it said? Mm -hmm. I do believe that is what it does. Nice. Uh, let's see. Yeah, connect the tank to the underground fuel reservoir, claiming the fuel there for our community, community and enabling use of the tanks as fuel storage. So we'll gain 15 fuel. Uh, man, this bitch is trigger happy. I have a bottle rocket gun. Oh, that's funny. 
the hell's in this room? Oh, this is the command center. Also unlocks earning influence via broadcasting and the ability to add a facility mod. Okay, this is a good view of where everything is. Oh, the biker kitchen's all fucked up or something. Uh, let's see. Okay. Oh, wait. Yeah, I'm, I've got my guys uh, repairing the kitchen area. So that'll be nice to have. Yes. Uh, no. Oh, I guess it won't be nice to have. <laughs> yeah, I don't know <laughs> why that was said. time for him to say, uh, no. That's fucking great. Okay. I'm gonna have someone also dismantle one of the beds, and I can replace it afterwards with proper beds. Mm -hmm. Beds that, you know, have space for more than one person for some reason. Yeah. Oh, because gross. All of that seat, and there's only one, one person. Space. We've been using this as beds. Pass out. <laughs> there's just... And sleep it on the corpse. Ugh. That gun on your back looks like a fucking Nerf gun. It's a squirt gun. Sorry. <laughs> you look fucking ridiculous running around with a giant fucking hammer and what looks like a squirt gun. <laughs> <laughs> you. Oh my god. I don't even know what to say about that. Oh, dismantle it's complete. In combat. Okay. That's a workshop. Um, yeah. Need sheltered beds. I'm going to dismantle the beds over here as well. And there's a space right here. So. Contemplating how to do this. I I want to have an, inf an infirmary. Like, we kind of need one. Yeah. The other thing is, uh, right where I'm standing on the fucking map, it shows like a blue square right here that makes it look like we could do something with this location. This is but all there's no option. Thing. It's connected to this. Uh, okay. It's the auto works. Yeah, that makes sense then. Yeah, that's not gonna work. You gotta have someone who knows how to fuck with cars to, you know, slap a bunch of armor onto a car. Yeah. Build a still. Craft fuel provides base wide water. Base wide water would be nice. Oh, we can build a latrine. Rain collector. And watchtowers. Call. Is it just me or is lucky if we found us like American sniper? Yeah. <laughs> is it just me or is like building on the roof is something that we should totally be able to like do? Yeah, no, we definitely should. Like, I mean that's so much fucking unused real estate. Oh, yeah, more creepy noises. Though, it should only be small things. Yeah. We shouldn't be able to build anything too big. Like just build, like, some water collectors. Or... Yeah, water collectors. I mean, think about it, like... You just build, like, three water collectors, and then you've got drinking water and water if anybody wants to take a shower. Yeah. Hey. And then you've got, like, proper s sanitary... Situation going on. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he does have a pistol. Hell, both these fuckers got a pistol.
Okay. Good job, everyone. Oh, nice. Beds are done. What is this? What's what's up with this person? Why do they have an exclamation? Okay then. Oh! His craftsmanship is leveled up. Oh. Craft masterwork melee weapons, make parts from materials. Or construction, heavy duty storage, craft storage facility mods, make ma materials from parts. Huh, make materials from parts, so he has the inverse of a metal worker. Um, I think having good base setup would probably... I don't know what kind of, what, what kind of upgrades do you think storage facility mods would have? I'm assuming, like, just significant more storage space. Yeah. Being able to store 10 or 20 more items. Well, I wanted that character for building, so... Oh! I can increase this character's, um, cardio now. Nice. So, sprinting costs less stamina and fatigue accrues more slowly, or major increase to carrying capacity. So, I already got resourcefulness, so now he's a backpacker, too. 15 plus max carrying capacity. Along with 26 more stamina. Don't give that screamer a chance to yell. Way to be concerning. A fucking screamer. Oh. That screamer, right there. That's a good fucking distance away, too. Yeah, he's just outside the safe zone. Oh, fucking hell. Uh, let's see. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, no. That's awful. Anyway. <laughs> um. I'm trying to think, like. I gotta wait for that to... I I can go much longer without a rest. Wait, why did I just get 10 plus influence? What just happened? Murder happened. Wait, is the generator done? Okay. So generator, gas it up. Plus one noise for one hour. Okay, so you can power it for an hour. I don't think plus one noise will be too bad. Probably. I've not had any issues with noise-based things yet. I've not had a too noisy of a base. Okay. Now that it's powered up, I'm gonna have them uh, connect the fuel tank to the underground area. Mm -hmm. I really like all the base building stuff for this. Oh yeah. You can even get, like, a military base. Uh, it's not on this map. It's on a different map. I mean, there are costs for all things. Yep. Okay, the beds are almost upgraded for an additional bed. Um... Brian. You... I'm gonna... Brian? Brian is the leather jacket guy that we got. Ah. Irizari? That's a weird last name. Um. A little bit. Oh, shit. Wait, we've already got a mechanic. Oh, nice. I was about to have that guy go and learn mechanic shit. Be safe. But, I mean, if we've already got a fucking mechanic. Mm -hmm. Can't believe I didn't realize that. Yeah, fucking Nia is a, uh. Mechanic. So she's. That was what the uh, car thing was for, right? Yes, you need a mechanic to be able to build the upgrade kits and shit. Oh, you know what? Ugh. This character needs to sleep, but I forgot. 
coffee exists. Sleep is for the weak. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, that's some fucking strong coffee. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, one fucking sip and just all of it is gone. It, like, that bar was fucking empty. Uh, uh -huh. some coffee. Yeah, that's some fucking good shit. Oh, the enclaves of new items to trade. Indeed they do. I'm intrigued to, uh... Ah, <laughs> probably. So we're about to go up to 45 fuel in a second. In literally five seconds. Or maybe it was... Nope, there it is. Okay. One active guard. Second active guard. Requires ammo and storage. So every guard requires ammo and storage. Oh, wait. What the fuck? Just, what was... Oh, sheltered beds. Okay. Okay, so then there's that. That provides three beds and we have six survivors. How many? We only have those two beds, right? Where's the fucking map for our base? We need three more beds. So I'll build a uh, bedding area here. And... Okay, the, the infirmary can be built indoor or outdoor, so that doesn't really matter. Do any of these have a specific wire requirement for being indoors? No, Nothing I can do. Outdoor beds. Yeah. Um. I'll build the infirmary inside. And then... We don't have a workshop, do we? Mm -mm. Oh shit, we could build a fucking generator, though. Yeah, and that just costs gas and gets base-wide power. I wouldn't do that, though, since you can get the power station. Okay, yeah. Good point. Um... Though I think we'll need a little... Yeah. You'll need a thousand more influence before you can get it. Okay. And an open outpost slot. So that requires 2,000 morale then? Or... Yeah. Okay. Launch tower... I guess Intel Garden. then it can hurt, but... Hello, survivors. This is Nigel Meredith again. Oh, Talon. Like the military did? Space. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a good question, though. Are those fucking Red Talon guys actually good guys, or are they like the, hey, we're the good guys, and then they kill you in your sleep and take your shit? Uh, no, you can trade with them. They're, oh. You can also get some of them to join you. Okay, so they're they are actually not bad pretty guys, decent. From what I've seen. You also get to play as them in um, Daybreak. Oh, cool. Okay. We'll get to experience that, that eventually. <laughs> uh, it's that's... actually a lot of fun. Hectic as all hell, though. Should I just build a still? Because it provides base wide water and you can craft fuel instead of like a rain collector. Uh, like, I, I want sure. base wide, but that mm -hmm. just seems like I want water but that seems like a better option go with it they take the same amount of time just one takes two people and five resources what the fuck okay just something yelling off in the distance 
that <laughs> that fucking uh those beds finish com like being built the same second that I fucking went to go and click on it, so it fucked with the interaction. Ah. There we go. It's a little fucking cramped in here, but it's whatever. It's kind of nice that the infirmary is front and center, if you think about it. Because if anybody's injured going through the door, you can just throw them right onto a fucking infirmary bed. Yep. Okay. <laughs> I have a uh, lollygag for so fucking long that we can just call that a recording. <laughs> Jesus. Oh. Well, we know what next episode will start with some action. Yeah.